Hey guys, how's it going? Coderman here. In today's video, I want to talk about firing clients. Now, I did a video about this a couple months back, but it was more or less on the process of how to go about it. And today's video is actually diving deep into why I fired nine clients last week. So the reason I created this channel was to help you know, small business owners, entrepreneurs to start businesses, run their business, uh, you know, mostly service-based, but a lot of the tips and information that I provide can be used in other businesses. And one of the things that I've found, uh, even with the handful of subscribers that we have, which currently we're at 75, and you know, first off, I have to say thanks for everybody that's subscribing. Uh, if you're not currently subscribed, please consider doing so. I really appreciate it, and I'm loving the feedback that I'm getting both on YouTube as well as through like Instagram and uh, a couple emails even. And I'm really just trying to help everybody out in their businesses. One of the things that I tell people is that if you're not enjoying what you're doing or you're not enjoying who you're working with to cut the ties. And I wasn't doing that. You know, we have a, a handful of clients that we were working with on various projects and continued relationships that was not core to what I want to be doing with my business. So, I mean, we build websites and mobile apps and we were getting into SEO and SEM and social media and all these other avenues that, you know, while we physically can do it, it's just not what we want to be doing. We want to be helping customers build, you know, better, more engaging, higher converting websites and better mobile apps or first time mobile apps. You know, so I kind of just had to sit down and think out what do I, you know, what I want to be doing. I'm not enjoying the path that we're on. And rather than just wallow and not do anything, just have to dive in and really make some changes. So one of those changes I did was I reached out to a handful of people and basically said, hey, you know, it's not you, it's not us. We just, we're going in a different, we're, we're not necessarily going in a different direction. We're just, we're continuing down a separate path that we had been on before and we're gonna continue that. And unfortunately, we're no longer gonna be offering the following services. You know, so I did that and I reached out to them and overall the feedback's been great. Uh, I recommended similar companies that can help them in a way, you know, like we were, because I don't wanna leave anybody high and dry. I mentioned that in the last video, you know, if you're working with somebody, you wanna make sure that you're providing a good service and you wanna make sure that you maintain a relationship. If for some reason that relationship has to end, don't be a jerk about it. Help them out and get them to that next stage. You know, so what can you take away from this? Well, if you're working in a service industry and you're working with clients that you're not really enjoying the work or you're not doing what you originally intended to be doing, then you have to have a hard conversation and, you know, give them another direction. Give, give them someone else to work with and cut ties. Uh, it is painful. It is scary as hell. I mean, I'll be honest when you look and you're like, hey, you just cut out, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50% of your revenue on a drop of a hat, it's dangerous. But at the same time, you probably started your company with those same fears. You know, you were probably working for somebody and decided to dive into your own business. And you really, you just gotta do the same here. Um, it is tough, it, it's not to be taken lightly. I'm not saying, you know, oh, I don't like this client, okay, fire them. You know, oh, I don't like this client, okay, fire them. That's not what I'm saying. You know, if, if it's you, make the changes and be a better person, be a better, you know, service provider. At the end of the day, if you're not happy with what you're doing, you're not gonna do your best work. And that's the problem is that's what was happening is I was, you know, starting to see that our team was working on stuff that we just don't wanna be working on. So, you know, we gotta make a change. Uh, as a complete random aside, I'm sure you may have noticed that the interior of the car I'm in is a lot different and it's a, um, I believe it's like a 2016 Nissan Sentra. It, it, I mean, it is good for what it is. It is not comfortable and it does not ride well. This thing is not, I wouldn't recommend it. Like that's my, you know, my insight into firing a client and like I said, eating our own dog food and doing just that and making a huge change. Um, I'll be sure to report on, you know, where we're gonna focus our efforts and how it's gonna better the company overall. Um, like I said, it's a scary time, or it's a scary thing to do, but it was necessary. And yeah, hopefully you got some value out of this. And you know, if you have any questions or comments on the topic, please leave a comment below. Uh, if you're new here, please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.